Now let's run through some orthopedic tests for shoulder impingement. Before starting, you want to palpate the anterior joint line here, the shoulder. And actually, Ritzy was already in position, and that was really good because bringing the patient's arm behind them like that into internal rotation will actually help you palpate underneath that uh, subacromial space better. Okay, so once you've palpated, assess for any pain or crepitus or any visual defects that you can see, we're going to go through the orthopedic tests. So the first one we've already done, which is the empty can test. So we're going to bring the arm into a forward position again, thumb up, out by about 30 degrees. And so we're going to turn you down. So this is the empty can test, right? And once again, I'm going to push down and you resist. Okay, good. So the reason we use that one is by creating that internal rotation, it's going to close down the space in the shoulder. And if there's any impingement, it'll usually assess it much better than say a full can. Now, second one is called Mears impingement test. So this is a passive test. So the patient doesn't have to move. You're going to do that for the patient. You're going to point the thumb up like that and actually just relax the hand. Perfect. And I'm going to bring your arm up as far as I can, okay, into flexion. I'm going to palpate the joint space here. And as we bring this up, we're looking for any limitations in range of motion, any pain, crepitus. There we go. Good. And right at the end range there, we're going to bring it into maximum flexion. Good. Okay. So that was an ears test. And then the last one is called the Hawkins-Kennedy test. So this test, you're basically going to bring the arm out into abduction. You're going to stabilize the patient's arm with one hand, and you're going to use your other hand to create movement. And what I'm looking for is I'm going to create internal rotation, but at the same time, horizontal adduction. So I'll demonstrate. So you just relax the arm. You don't have to do anything. So we're bringing it like this. Good. Forward a bit. Good. Further. And good. Perfect. Okay. Now this is a test that we perform to observe to see if there's any scapular asymmetries in terms of movement or any winging of the scapula. And it's primarily testing the serratus anterior muscle, which is not a rotator cuff muscle, but is a key stabilizer of the uh, scapula. So we've got Ritzy here. She's basically going to perform a push-up in a standing position. So I want you to go close to the door now, bend the elbows. Okay. And as Ritzy pushes back, I'm going to observe her scapulae and I'm going to assess to see if there's any winging. So now push away from the door. Perfect. Okay. And get in there and palpate. And we want to compare the two sides. Okay, good. And just do one more. So you can go back. Okay. And now push away again. And one thing to note is that asymmetries in scapular movement are actually very common in impingement type problems of the shoulder. Great, Ritzy.